Hey guys, welcome back to All By The Popcorn. I'm Stephanie, thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. So after eight years, Gossip Girl has got a reboot. We're on HBO Max and we're here to talk about it. <laughs> I was a huge major fan of a Gossip Girl. I saw it back in the day. It was on CW. I absolutely fell in love with it from day one. It was iconic. It was great. Great fashion. Great actors. This is where we kind of got Lake Lively up and coming where she became more known. We got Lance and Minster. I mean we got our Serenas, our Blairs, our Nates, our Chucks, our Dans, you know everybody. I loved it. It was great. It was great. And then now we got a reboot, right? So I had heard about the reboot a while back. I kind of totally forgot about the reboot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys because it's a reboot. You know, generally they don't, they're not as great, right? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that here in a little bit, whether I enjoyed it or not. We are getting like week to week episodes, which I'm, <laughs> I prefer to get like the whole series in going but you know whatever it's week to week so we're gonna have this for 12 weeks we're getting a whole new class a whole new generation whole new deals blah 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 this that so we're gonna go with the positives here okay let me let me uh let me get my paper right here positives wait hold on let me because i know i'm blind hold on <clears throat> all right so firstly diversity um in the original one even though i do love it you know it was just white people of power of money but here we are diverse number two we have kristen bell back as the voice of gossip girl when they first talked about the voice i was like and it was a positive three that's it it was it, it's just two needless to say i'm not here for this series um <laughs> I wouldn't have originally had done this review, but I really had thoughts about it because I just I loved or I love the first one so much. Um, if anything, I may just talk about it at the end after the 12 weeks as a series whole, but I won't be doing week to week reviews, so don't expect that coming from this particular channel. I'm sure you'll find uh, plenty of other reviews week to week, uh, but I think if I do decide to keep watching it, because uh, I'm not even sure if I want to keep watching it. Um, it will probably be just as a whole series generally. And I totally understand, okay? I totally understand we're dealing with a whole new generation. This is for the preteen, teenagers, young adult of this generation, obviously. We're dealing with like really disrespectful kids here. Like I just cannot with these children. They really are the definition of privileged kids. I mean, in the first one, obviously privileged, they have money, they had their power. They were, you know, doing things that like some teenagers, I'm like, really that you're going out here, you're drinking, you're like in these parties kind of deal. Like you're not just drinking and partying at somebody's house, but you're like actually at bars and clubs and stuff like that, right? Acting all grown when you're like a teenager. Same thing kind of happens here, but here they're just really disrespectful to these kids, and that's not to these kids, they're really disrespectful to the teachers. In the uh, first one, if I recall, they were not like that. They weren't actually having these teachers fear for their jobs. Unlike the original Gossip Girl, where we don't find out who Gossip Girl is until literally the end of the series. So here in the very first episode, we find out who Gossip Girl is and it's actually the teachers. Um, it looks like it's gonna be one particular main teacher. I don't know their damn names, I don't really care. But they do bring up Gossip Girl obviously from that time because apparently one of the teachers was one of the students during that time, during the Serena Nate time. But this is kind of like their way of putting fear into these kids because that was the way that apparently these other kids from you know our gossip my gossip girl was kept in check there is a lot of sexy time happening here honestly i would not be surprised if here in the next couple episodes i'm sure it's gonna happen sooner rather than later we're gonna have a threesome um if not a threesome it's, it's gonna turn into a throuple i i don't know but we're gonna get some some kind of real real like you know like raunchy stuff happening here because here it's two half sisters who in their father's eyes don't know each other well they know of each other but they don't actually know them one daughter alex i don't remember their names um i think she would be like the blair of the group um she's the oldest one she's the senior 
her mama left their family to go be with this other Serena, the little Serena, uh, who's now a freshman with her papa. And then I guess after giving birth to her, or I don't know, somewhere in the midst she died, so they never really knew each other. Um, so I think it would have just been better if they had left it where they maybe just hated each other or just disliked each other. And then that's just kind of like the drama that had kind of went on with that family drama going the hate. In, case, in this case, they put it as they're secretly like cool with each other meeting but then something happens with school shit and then like that now that's the drama that's going on i'm like oh that's so stupid i'm not really here for the series yet it didn't like intrigue me like that um if anything i may wait a couple <laughs> a couple weeks to maybe see um maybe like three back to back to see if after three episodes it really kind of lures me because i try to give a series at least two to three episode before i officially give up on it i really do want to give up on it after one episode but just for the sake of it i'll give it three episodes and we'll see what happens um if you don't see a review at the at the end of the what was it 12 weeks right you just know i just didn't watch it <laughs> but if you've seen season one episode one of the gossip girl reboot let me know down below what you think about it you like it you judge you hate it was it just not for you what were your thoughts also on them revealing gossip girl literally on episode one like, I don't, I wasn't here for that. I'm like, that was like the whole part also of not knowing who Gossip Girl was. But like, now we know who she is or who they are. It's like, ugh. I never found out who Gossip Girl. I won't tell you guys in case you have never seen it. But I never, ever, ever suspected that person to be a Gossip Girl. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions.